This video is going to show you how to use the kiosk mode um, as the Chrome app kiosk. So the first thing that you do is you install the kiosk app onto your Chromebook. And the way that you do that is you click on Add to Chrome, and then click on Add App, and then it's going to download, and it is already installed just like that. Okay, so the next thing that you do is you go to the form that you want to put in kiosk mode. And so this is it in editing view. Make sure that you've clicked on settings and uncheck the box where it says restrict to users in Plano ISD and its trusted organizations because otherwise it's going to require every single person to sign in. And if you're using this just for uh, kids to be able to sign in for their tutorials or something like that, then you don't want each and every person to have to sign in individually. That will just slow things up. So make sure that's unchecked. And then you click Save. Once you've done that, then you need to go ahead and grab the URL that you're going to use in the kiosk. And then you will click on Send. Then click on the hyperlink icon. Click Copy to copy, copy it to your clipboard. And then you're going to open up the kiosk app. And the way that you open up the kiosk app is that you're going to take your finger and you're going to swipe up from the bottom of your Chromebook. And then you'll see the menu come up. The kiosk app looks like, whoops, the kiosk app looks like a green square with a white K in the middle. So you tap on it one time. And then it's going to open up the kiosk app. Do not get frustrated by looking at all these words that's on there. There's only just three things you have to pay attention to. The first is to paste the content URL. So that link that we just copied, this is where we paste it. After you do that, then you're going to scroll down until you see um, username and then password and confirm password. So you can choose any username, any password that you like. Just make sure that you write it down, um, that you have it in a place that is secure so that you know how to get out of the Chaos program. So I'm going to leave the username the same. And my password is going to be Plano. And then I'm going to confirm it under Confirm Password. Then you scroll down, and then you click on Save and Restart. And so this is what the what it looks like. So now, as you can see, there's nothing I can do here. I can't go anywhere else. There's no other tabs. It's just all they're going to see is just the kiosk mode, and then they'll be able to input their name or whatever they need. So let me show you that again. I'm going to um, take my finger and swipe up, and I'm going to get this menu here. I'm going to tap on kiosk. And then, as you can see, the students just have to put their name and choose the teacher. That's just this particular form. And then they click Submit. And then to submit another response, you just click there. And that's all they can do. Now, to get out of kiosk mode, and this is extremely important, you're going to hold down the Control key and then tap A. When you do that, that's when you have to put in the username and the password to get out of the program. So my username was admin and the password, whoops, and the password was Plano. And then that's how I get out of the program. So that is how to use kiosk mode. And if you have any questions, please contact anybody on your digital learning team and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks so much.